Okay, hi there. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Edexcel Paper 1 uh, topic mapping. So what we do here is we take the specification in the order in which it's set out for Paper 1, which of course covers uh, themes 1 and 3. It's the micro paper. And we look to see which topics have been tested so far in 2017, 2018, and also covered in the sample assessment to materials, the SAMs, and also an additional specimen paper made available by the board. Uh, we're going to color code this just in terms of working this out. So the five mark questions, the 12 marks, etc., and the data response, and the 25 mark on the essay are given a different color to get a feel for what's been set. In terms of the main essays, in 2017, there was a question about the sugar tax and a question about business objectives. Revenue maximization being the most realistic was the argument. A year later, last summer, 2018, a question about the economic impact of nuclear power investment. And a very popular question on whether Apple's market power or that of other monopolists was in the consumer interest. There have also been some uh, additional um, papers uh, covering minimum prices in farming, information in higher education, carbon trading and taxation, and the minimum wage. Now, of course, those those topics can come up again just because they've appeared in a specimen or sample assessment paper does not mean they can't come up again. This little mapping video we're going to go through does not include questions set in section A, the short answer and multiple choice questions, which typically are drawn from right across the entire theme 1 to theme 3 specification. And increasingly, of course, involve the testing of quantitative skills. We expect to see more of those uh, quantitative calculation style questions and diagrammatic questions in the 2019 paper. So let's just scroll down and work our way through. So what I'm doing here, by the way, there's a download link for this file at the, in, the, in the comment section of the video if you want to download this file yourself and perhaps develop it yourself. That's fine. Theme 1, typically introduction to economics tends to be covered in the short answer questions, questions about PPFs and functions of money and opportunity costs. Not going to get big essay questions on that, although renewable energy I think could well be a feature of 2019. Then we start to get into the meat of the syllabus, how markets work. Not a huge amount of um, behavioral economics in the Edexcel paper, but you need to certainly understand the, the concept of rationality and also challenge and question people behaving rationally. Supply and demand tend typically, price determination shifts in supply and demand typically get asked in five mark questions. There's been a question on elasticity of demand. A consumer producer surplus not yet explicitly included in any question, but of course you're going to use those concepts uh, when analysing the impact of interventions, for example, in markets. Uh, okay, so moving on, market failure. Again, really important here to have a good grasp of all your Year 12 economics, micro, the economics of externalities, public goods, information gaps, and uh, typically, the 25 mark questions tend to revolve around some aspect of market failure and intervention in the market, be it a sugar tax or a minimum wage or a uh, pollution permits question, for example. There was a subsidies question in one of the specimen papers. Uh, regulation important, and of course, you can bring government failure into any evaluation of any question, and in fact, you should do. Then we get into the business economics, from mainly from year 13. Popular questions on growth of businesses, on uh, business objectives, obviously. Um, they've targeted revenue maximization so far. Uh, they've asked questions about mergers and also demergers. Then we're getting into revenue and cost analysis. Questions on e-commerce and dis-e-commerce of scale, normal profits, different types of profits. Uh, whenever there is a question on market structures, whenever there's a question, you can always talk about economic efficiency. So any essay question, you should definitely talk about one of those different types of efficiency. But notice there's nothing on monopoly competition yet, nothing big on oligopoly, nothing big on cartels yet. Occasional reference to game theory. Then we get into non-price competition. We had a question last year on monopoly power, Apple. Uh, we've had a, a part question in one of the ses um, assessment papers on price discrimination. Nothing yet on natural monopoly. Uh, Monopsonia has been covered, um, but could well come back again. And again, not much yet on contestable market theory. Labour market for Edexcel, 
slightly less complicated theory in Edexcel. It's really a question about using your labor market theories to better understand and apply to the context. Uh, so we've had a quite a bit of stuff on supply of labor and labor immobility, but not much else so far. Uh, government intervention, of course, at a slightly higher level, not just year 12 about indirect taxes and subsidies, but price capping, profit regulation, regulatory interventions of different types. Nearly always comes up. Nothing yet on nationalization or regulatory capture. So this is not question spotting, by the way. This is just stating the obvious. So far in the 2017 and 18 papers, and in the sample assessment materials so far, there has been little or nothing on price elasticity of supply, positive externalities, public goods, maximum prices, perhaps in the labour market or perhaps in the housing market, monopolistic competition, not yet much on oligopoly and game theory, nothing really on natural monopoly specifically. They focus so far on labour supply rather than labour demand, not much on the elasticity of labour demand and supply, public sector wages, and nothing yet on nationalisation. Now, this is not question spotting or topic spotting. This is to state this is these are the topics have not yet been examined. And if I was preparing for paper one, I'd make sure I was really well prepared on these topics in particular. Okay, thanks a lot for joining in.